four types of river transportation as well. So the four types of river transportation are called traction. Now traction is when big boulders are rolled along the bottom of the river. So if I look down here, that's a huge hunk of mud. Down here is a good boulder though. You can see, here's a boulder, it's a large rock. So the only way this river will transport this is by rolling it along the floor like that because it's quite heavy. Now I remember this with the word traction, which is a bit like a tractor. So it's like the rolling of the tractor wheels. So that one's called traction. And then the next one is called saltation. Saltation is when stones and rocks bounce along the bed of the river. So if I take this stone here, okay, this stone here will go into the river and it will bounce along the bed of the river. And that bouncing is called saltation. The way I remember that is with some salt. If you take salt and you actually drop it on the floor, it will bounce up and down when it lands on the ground. So this would be called saltation, okay? So that's the bouncing of pebbles. The third type is called suspension. Now this is when little tiny pebbles, if I had to pick up a little tiny one here, you can see that there, it's a little tiny pebble. This can float in the river. So it's the floating of little stones along the river. That's called suspension. And the final type of transportation is called solution. Solution is when you've got tiny, weeny, weeny little particles uh, which are dissolved and you can't see them and they are also just floating, floating along in the river, okay, um, with the river flow. And those are the four types of river transportation.